<laughs> Hello, people. Now, as you probably figured out, when I was a little trash lad, I used to watch a lot of Minecraft roleplays because I was just that type of person. I mostly just watched them while I drew Pokemon because I was too. Because Pokemon, that was the only thing I actually knew how to somewhat be good at drawing. But out of all the Minecraft series, there's one that just stands out above all the rest. And that one is Athmel's My Street. And also, by the way, I am much better at drawing Pokemon now, and I would like to make my own Pokemon series someday if my crippling anxiety doesn't stop me. So, uh, let's, uh, talk about my street. Sorry if the audio's weird. I'm just, uh, very excited. Okay, uh, I probably should say what my street is before I, uh, start talking about it. My Street was an AU series featuring characters from Aphmouth's other more serious series called Minecraft Diaries. And by serious, I, I mean that characters died and their portrayals and affairs and the entire thing was very different than at My Street. In My Street, we follow our main character, Aphmouth, and her two friends, Keatlin and Kawai Chan. Aside from Aph Minecraft Diaries, where it's just mainly Aphmau. Our story starts with our main characters moving in together to their new house. Wow, this place is amazing! <laughs> right? I knew you girls would like it. Are you sure we can afford this place? Yes, I'm sure. What do you even do for a living? Uh, well, uh... It's a, it's a night job, and I, I really don't want to talk about it, because I don't want word to get around to Garth and Lawrence. Um, if they found out, they would be so mad. Actually, when Aphmau mentioned her job, it's a reference to a Five Nights at Freddy's roleplay she did a while back. But now that I hear it again, am I the only one who thinks that it sounds kind of dirty? No, it, just me? Okay. Uh, you can't trust us? Kawai Chan, you're the one who was snapping pictures of me and Aaron on the side. Of course I don't trust you. But I'll live with you. Aw, Pooh. <laughs> Fine. Keep it a secret. We live with you now, so we'll find out eventually. B but Caitlin Sama, Kawai Chan wants to know now. Patience, Kawai Chan. Let's play Aph Mao's game. If she's keeping it a secret, then this is gonna be good. Uh, okay. What did she mean by that? Uh, oh, you know Caitlyn Sama. Oh, that's right. Avna used to voice all the characters herself. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. Uh, so the next minute is um, Afma exploring her house, uh, trying to pick her room, because Kwai Chen said she could pick first. So, yeah, let's just skip that. Oh. Caitlin, ah, I see. Uh, claiming this room for yourself, huh? No, these crates are yours. This is your room. Uh, wait, wait, what? Yeah, what? I, I just said that Kwai Chan said that she could pick the room. Are you trying to make me a liar? You call me a lawyer? Kawai Chan and I talked about this before we came to the house. We both agreed you did all the work to get this place, plus you're paying more rent. So, we feel it's only right that you get the big room. Don't fight this, please. It'll only make Kawai Chen and I feel better about moving in with you. Okay, good point. <sighs> it... <sighs> F fine. You know what? I, I don't mind if that's the case. Uh, but I swear, if we start pay if we all start paying equal rent or someone else starts paying more, then I want to have a discussion about relocating, alright? Equality! Equality for everybody! Nothing much happens uh, next other than uh, Aphmau gets really into a picture of Levi. Yep. She calls it 
her senpai and stuff, which I don't think it is, is as romantic as people say it is. Caitlin! Jeez. Caitlin, get back here! I I swear, Caitlin, I just... You... you just, uh, oh! Go <laughs> uh, chan I found senpai. Let's go introduce ourselves to the neighbors. Come on. Uh... Oh, y'all ready for this? I know for a fact you aren't ready for this. You're about to eat, meet the most interesting characters in the series. Ring the doorbell. <laughs> I'm excited to see who we live next to, Kawaii chan Just, um, play it cool, alright? <laughs> oh, hey, oh! Who the heck is that guy? Well, well, well. I didn't know cute girls were delivering pizza these days. Uh, uh, are you serious? You live here, Brendan? I, of course I do. I've been inviting you guys to come over to check out the place, remember? No, because no one knows who you are. Uh, I see you finally took me up on my offer. <laughs> um, no, we actually just, uh, moved next door. Um, Kawaii-chan and myself. Brendan-kun, long time no see. Uh, Kawaii-chan, I, I, I didn't see you, it would be, uh, uh, he he fainted. Yep, that uh would be the case. <laughs> I love this series and how over the top it is sometimes. It's so it's good. It's just charming. Um, I I guess he still has a crush on you, Koei Chan. <laughs> well. Oh, is it who I think it is? Oh, it's the boys! Uh, someone's moving in right across from us. The same day that we are? Oh, what a coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Uh, come on, we should go say hi. Yay! Well, I gotta admit, this place isn't half bad. Definitely an upgrade from my old place. What did I tell you? See, we knew you'd like it. I'm going to like stealing your girl even more. What did you say? I said I'm going to like firing up the grill even more. This place is perfect for barbecue parties. Yeah, you're right. It's the Creep Squad. And I say this because they literally moved next to Afmau so they could be near Afmau. Yeah. Hey there, new neighbors. My name is Afmau, and this is a... G G Gareth? D Dante? Uh Lords? Uh... Yo! No, no, d don't tell me you guys are... Please tell me you're just helping this person move into this house here. <laughs> nope, they're moving here, it looks like. <laughs> half is obviously McFrizzled because she thought she could get away from, uh, these creeps. Hey, Kawaii-chan, let me ask you. Do you think I'm handsome? Huh? Why would you ask such a question? <laughs> just trying to prove a point. Well, Kawaii-chan thinks Dante-kun is cute, but she can't see her shipping you with Afmau-senpai or anything like that. Yeah, Kawaii-chan's a bit of a creep who ships her friends with her other friends, which sadly happens in real life. Huh. Afmau predicted a K-pop stance. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Told you he was no threat. D don't you two start with me! Speaking of shipping, uh, Kawaii Chen has to go set up her. Uh, never mind! Be back and don't follow me! Especially you, Wathmouth Senpai! Uh, I'm sure she's off to do something perfectly normal and not creepy at all. Afmau is, uh, rightfully upset at the people who literally moved next to her in order to be near her, and they they just tried to come up with excuses. I- Lawrence! N no, no, we can explain. You see, since you were moving, we, uh, d decided to move as well. And, uh, this place just so happened to catch our eyes, and, uh, so we moved here. We We had no idea you were moving here as well. Really? She tries confronting uh, Lawrence and Garus about this obviously weird behavior, but they don't really want to talk to her. Mm, wonder why. So she has to talk to Dante. You. 
Why, hello there, Avma. He gives you a cute smirk. Uh, wh what are you doing with your face? I'm just admiring your beauty from here. Say, do you need any help moving into your new place? I'm twice as strong as Garth and Lawrence combined. Uh, no thanks, but thank you for offering. Now, I want to ask you, did you really find this place on your own and ask Garth and Lawrence to room with you? I did. You know why? Because I wanted to be next to the most beautiful girl in the world. Huh? You mean Celeste? Yes! Absolutely! Are you really... Never mind. Yes, I wanted to be next to your dog. Sheesh. <laughs> but you know what? I find it cute that you're so... cute. Uh, what? I can't flirt on an empty stomach. I don't think he can fart on a full stomach either. After all that awkward stroke, Avma looks for uh, Caitlyn and Kawhi Chan, who have mysteriously disappeared. Hmm, where could they be? I swear, this better not be a prank. <sighs> you know what? Maybe they're in the basement. Let's see. Um, hmm? what's this over here? Oh my, what the? Oh, what? Oh, this is happening now. Okay. What is this? What, huh? what the heck is all this? Me and, and Aaron? Does Afmal Senpai like it? This is a place Kawaii Chan comes to give strength to her ship! <laughs> well, this, this seems like a good time to just run off, run away, just never come back. Okay, see ya, bye! The episode ends with, uh, Caitlyn telling Afmal a bedtime story between Afmal and the guy that it was just in that weird shipping shrine thing. Now, episode 2 starts off with everyone's favorite emo, Zane, going from house to house. Yeah. I'll get it. Good evening, my name is Zane. I'm in charge of the neighborhood watch and I... Uh, Zane? Oh, you. Y you're in charge of the neighborhood watch? You have to be kidding me. What? Can't someone like me be in charge of the safety of others? You're up to something. I know it. Hey, now, that's not fair. I just want to become a productive member of society. Now, I am indeed in charge of the Neighborhood Watch, and I just wanted to let you know that if you have any problems, you can report them to someone who cares, who is not me. Have a great day. <laughs> Wow, he was- Yeah, Zane isn't really a villain, more than he's just a socially awkward hermit. Then Kawaii-chan appears and gives uh, Afmao some uh, PTSD. Kawaii-chan apparently ordered a uh, artist to make uh, art for her shipping shrine. You know, like you do. Anyways, Kawaii-chan dematerializes into nothing. See? And Afmao starts talking to herself. Like a weirdo. Um, let's see. Caitlin! 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 Uh, I'm just. Alright, fine. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come in. Um, I'm coming in! Hello, Caitlin! Oh, you got your tea already. Coming into my room without knocking. Oi, chap, you better not come into my room without knocking, or I'm gonna have to give you uh, the old one and two. Don't. I, I don't know why I said that. Actually, and you didn't really answer. I was kind of worried. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, sure. No, no, seriously, I was worried about you. I mean, I didn't know you enjoyed meditating on your computer. Um, I'm sure I mentioned it before, but if I didn't, then yes, I do. Oh, um, may I ask why, if you don't mind me asking? I, um, have some anger issues. I don't want to get it t So, apparently Avmao has a friend that doesn't understand personal space and one with anger issues. They seem like great roommates. Want in my room anyway. Hmm, 
To be honest, I just wanted to see what it looked like so far. I mean, I haven't seen yours in Kawaii Chan's room yet. And, well, I mean, you guys have been all over mine. So, do you mind me just looking around? Not at all. Take a look around for yourself. <laughs> Thanks. I just want to take. Oh, <gasps> ooh. Wow. Caitlin, your posters. You really have some mature tastes. Though, to be honest, I expected nothing less of you. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? Oh, not at all. I'm actually a fan of some of these bands. Oh, though, admittedly, I've only seen the first season of Once, so. Oh, gosh. She's talking about Once Upon a Time like it's relevant. Am I old? So Aphmau does the thing that every introvert hates, which is rummaging through their stuff and she finds Caitlyn's One Direction poster. Were, there, were those guys even still relevant when this came out? How old is this series? How old am I? Saw nothing. That is a poster I'm holding for a friend. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Koichan and I are your only friends, Caitlin. Well, that explains quite a bit. But that's not true. I have plenty of friends, like Garth, Dante, and Lawrence. Um, <laughs> are you holding the poster in there for one of the guys? Hey, you never know. Maybe they're into outdated music even for this time. Uh, um. Yes! <laughs> Why don't you just give the poster to them? I mean, we live right across the street, and you and I can go over there and give them the poster right now if it's such a big deal. No, they can't have it. It's a special order straight from- I, I mean, never mind. This isn't my poster. Just leave it alone. You better not tell anyone I'm holding this poster for anyone else, you understand? <laughs> uh, Aphmau's laughing, but... Caitlin did just say she had anger issues, so she m might be found in a ditch later. I meant Aphmau. Also, I just saw like a tumbleweed roll by in the snow. And my dog's barking. I understand, Caitlin. Don't worry, I, I won't tell anyone at all about it. Phew. Oh, Kawaii Chan! <laughs> Half mouth, I swear. <laughs> oh, Ka Kawaii Chan. After narrowly avoiding death, uh, Half mouth runs into Kawaii Chan and they talk about uh, ordering a pizza. Apparently, the pizza guy is just really, really beautiful, and Kawaii Chan just, just can't handle it. most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life! Look at him! He's perfect! That luscious hair! He has hair? Those sea blue eyes! That beautiful smooth pink skin! Oh no! Kawaii-chan! Don't imagine him with his shirt off! Oh no! He's hot! Thanks again, Caitlin. I'll pay you back. I promise. Yeah, yeah. Just get the pizza. <laughs> Huh? Uh, where did the pizza guy go? Oh, he, uh, he said the pizza was on him and he left. I don't think that's true. Really? <laughs> that was really nice of him. R really, I'm gonna have to give them a good review. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and close this door and I guess I could put these, uh, this food on the table. Koi-chan, do you think you can- Oh. Uh... What's her problem? Really, I needed someone to go tell Caitlyn that the food was ready that wasn't me because, of course, Caitlyn is still mad at me even though she gave me the money. Whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna have to go get Caitlyn and Kawaii Chan myself. Oh, did Kawaii Chan leave because I forgot to get her dessert? Oh my goodness, no. I I'll, I'll just pull a dessert from the pantry and say that it's I ordered it from there. Um, Caitlyn? It's locked tight. Caitlin, are you mad that I went in and asked for money and still made fun of your- Okay, fine. All right, I get it. It's- It was very rude of me to do that. And look, I'm sorry I looked in your closet in the first place and found out your secret. I just wanted to let you know that there's pizza and hot wing downstairs, even though just to go over your secret again, it's- 
kind of pretty obvious you might want to take down the poster if you don't want anybody to find out. But there's pizza and hot wings downstairs if you want. Stay out, Akmal. It's bad enough I let you in to get the money. You're not allowed back inside until you forget what you saw. I swear you better not tell anyone or post this information on the internet or I'll hurt you. Is that a joke? Because it is technically on the internet. You. Also, thanks for the pizza and wings. I'll be down soon. <laughs> no wonder she needs to meditate. <sighs> anyway, uh, Koi-chan? Koi-chan? Hey, um, I'm gonna come in. Alright? <gasps> Uh, looks like you're busy, so I'ma just come back later if that's fine with you. Yeah, so Kawhi Shen literally uh, kidnapped someone because she gave him a uh, magical cookie. So, I love this series. <laughs> the the Afmount is like, oh no, don't worry, it's gonna all be fine. And helps take care of the problem. Kwai Chan then tries to kiss the unconscious uh, ple pizza man because uh, that that makes sense. But Half Mouse stops her, so it's all fine. Then they do that thing in TV shows and movies where they start laughing for no reason, which I hate it when it happens. It's so cringy. I'll get it. Wait, that might be the thing that I ordered. Good evening. Hey, look, Zane's back. My name is Zane. I am in charge of the Neighborhood Watch, and I... Uh, Zane? Zane? Wait. You guys are living across from... those girls? I think even Zane knows how weird th this is. You could have been living with his baby brother. I already live on this street. What do you want, Zane? I'm the head of the Neighborhood Watch, and I wanted to let you know... <laughs> <laughs> No offense, little brother, but you couldn't guard or watch over anything, even if your life depended on it. You know what? If someone breaks into your house, I'm sure you can handle it. Goodbye! You'll be the first I destroy when I take over this town. That doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Zane, Garth's younger brother. Oh, really? Man, I hate that guy! He's got a nice voice, though. Oh, I get it. Episode 3 starts with Garth and Lawrence frantically getting their house ready for Afmo, who is visiting. What are you guys freaking out about now? Afmo is coming over to visit our place today. We have to make a good impression so she can kiss me. Didn't that already happen? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> You guys are hilarious! You overreact to anything having to deal with her. No, we don't! Okay, Gareth, maybe Dante has a point. Getting her to be my girlfriend is going to be easy if you guys keep acting this immature. <laughs> what? Hey, you still are planning on going after her! Calm down, Lawrence. Even if he did go after her, he doesn't stand a chance. He doesn't love Afmao the way we do. You mean in a creepy way? And why are you so sure of that? Because... Uh... Maybe I actually have feelings for her, but I've just been really cool about it. Ever think about that? He's lying! Uh, right? I mean, I did wait 15 years to see her again, so... There's a lot of Minecraft Diary references at the beginning. <laughs> Just some food for thought. Can't wait to see her when she comes over. It's going to be hilarious! You guys couldn't even keep your cool around her if your lives depended on it. <laughs> <laughs> Garth, I think that's a challenge. Challenge accepted! Let's prove him wrong. We're gonna be so cool around Afmel that she won't even recognize us. Yeah! Oh no. I don't think a lot happens in this episode other than Lawrence and Garth act like idiots. And FMO and Lawrence talk about how they. how Garth and Lawrence and Dante didn't come over and move right next to her in order to be just creeps. Uh, well. 
Well... Well what? <laughs> Don't you want to show me around? Uh, the town? L like a date? Hold your horses, buckaroo. I don't think she meant it like that. Uh, <laughs> uh no. I, I, I meant, like, the house. You can show me around the house. He's blushing a very bright... Um, Lawrence? You, you okay? I am so stupid, my Irene. I <laughs> Lawrence, you're whispering again. Are, are you sure you're okay? I just... Need a drink of water or something. I think I'm coming down with a fever. Oh gosh, he has the virus. Oh gosh. Oh no. Well, I don't have to be over here. It's just, I'll be back. Lawrence, you're such an idiot. That wasn't cool at all. Uh -oh. So Lawrence uh, leaves with his bruised ego and then Garth shows up. Something weird that happens is that the music just stops and there's... There's this weird whooshing noise, like someone left their fan on, or there's like a highway nearby. And also, apparently, Gars and Lawrence ordered pizza as well, and Dante just went up to the pizza guy and went, Hey, why are you pink? And Gars and Lawrence were like, Oh gosh, why would you say that? And so, uh, Gars chose off the rest of his home to Afmau, and apparently... These people have two sinks and a hot tub. Which, wow, they must have just gotten jackpot. And there's a moment where uh, Afmo talks for about a new bathing suit. And Garth just sits in the corner uh, while screaming internally. And then Dante shows up and is like, Hey, come over here. Come into my, this room, my room. And Afmo's like, okay. And then shows... He shows her a picture of him as a baby, which makes her go, ah. And then Garth and Lawrence are like, hey, something, something's up. And then they're like, oh, what is going on here? And yeah, that, that's, the ep that's the episode.